Marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects the body's connective tissue. These tissues hold all the body's cells and organs together. One in 5,000 people have it, but some may not even know it until there's a tear in their aorta or their valves pull apart. Until recently, a Marfan patient was not expected to live to be past 50. Now, new drugs are helping to change that. Brooke Pulliam couldn't imagine her life without dance, but Brooke isn't like other 15-year-olds. She was born with Marfan syndrome. People usually comment about how I'm tall, so I usually just explain like what Marfan's is. Brooke is 6'1", to be exact. Her legs, arms, and toes are long, too. Her spine is fused. Her mom knew Brooke had Marfan's even before she was born. The thing with Brooke is that we could probably tell from ultrasound pictures that she had it. Cardiovascular features are the life-threatening ones. Aneurysms can form in the patient's aorta and burst. A beta blocker blocks adrenaline and takes stress off the heart. For years, this was the only medicine available, but it can cause fatigue and nausea. Now, cardiologist Alan Braverman is testing another class of drugs called angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs. Either drug seems to slow the rate of growth of the aorta over time. ARBs work differently than beta blockers by relaxing blood vessels, making it easier for your heart to pump, and they have little to no side effects. An important discovery for Dr. Braverman, his father died from Marfan's. His brother is living with it. His goal, help everyone with it live longer. I think most, most exciting about caring for people with Marfan syndrome is watching them grow old. Though there is no cure for Marfan syndrome, treatment with beta blockers and ARBs, along with surgery, has increased life expectancy into the 70s. Dr. Braverman believes finding new drugs will help researchers learn more about the cause.